Hello everyone, welcome back to another book review. It is a wonderful fall morning where I live, so I'm in a good mood today. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing The Palace Job by Patrick Weeks. Um, I just picked this book up off the shelf at the library because the cover um, drew me in, to be honest. There's some fantasy looking characters on the cover and I like the purple and grayish color scheme. And when I flipped it over to the back, it seemed to be a heist book, which I am a big fan of heist plot lines. <clears throat> so yeah, I pulled it off the shelf and I gave it a read. Um, so I guess I'm going to start with like a basic overview. So there is a woman, she is in prison, she wants to get out of prison because she needs to steal something from a man who stole it from her family. Um, and she is on a mission to gather people for this heist and then perform the heist. Your classic heist um, storyline, I guess you could say. So, um, problem is she's in prison. That's where we start. We start with her in prison and it kind of follows the adventure for how is she going to get out of prison? How is she going to find all these people? How is she going to find the man who stole the stuff? Break into where he's keeping it, get it, get it out. We're all good. Um, and of course, many complicating factors come up during the process. So, that kind of is the general story. Some of the things that I liked in this book and that definitely gave it bonus points. Um, one, the heist. I love a heist, heist plot line. I think they're very, very interesting. Um, so yeah, that gave it bonus points right away. Um, and I like the world that it was set in. Uh, you didn't get a lot of detail about the world, but I think there could definitely be room for um, fleshing out, especially some of the stuff on one of the um, floating cities that is mentioned in this book. So that kind of contributed to the reasons I like this book. Um, and now I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I didn't like about this book. So when I went to the library, I found this book in the adult section. So I was expecting an adult, um, and it's labeled science fiction, but the, the, um, that label I think my library kind of uses for science fiction and fantasy. So based on the cover and where I found this book, I was expecting a, um, adult fantasy novel. When I read this, this felt very YA. And I want to preface this with saying that I don't think there's anything wrong with YA. Um, I don't read a whole lot of it. The genre, I don't think I'm the target audience for the, the genre anymore. Um, I did a lot when I was in like high school, but I no longer do. Um, and I think maybe if I had known this was going to be geared a little bit more why a I would have had a different expectation. My expectation going in was that was this, this was going to be an adult fantasy novel and it definitely at least felt like a YA fantasy novel. Um and that kind of threw me, I'm going to be honest, just some of the way they some of the ways they talked about some stuff um was not how I would expect in an adult fantasy novel. So because I went in with one expectation and it was something else that did kind of um throw me for a little bit of a little portion of the book. Um, by, by around midway through, I was like, okay, I think I'm really honestly reading a YA fantasy novel. And then once I knew that, I could just read it as a YA fantasy novel going forward. And then some of the, maybe some of the tropes or some of the stuff that was happening didn't bother me as much. Um, but starting out, I was like, why are we doing this in a book that's for adults? Um, yeah, so that was one thing to keep in mind. I think if you read this, or if anyone else has read this, please let me know if you thought it was geared more towards YA. But if you do read this, I would suggest going in with the mindset that it's going to be, if not a YA book, like between YA and adult. So like kind of in that little gray zone where where I think sometimes it can be difficult to classify a book. Like, is it really YA or is it for adults? Um, I would say for me, this felt a little more YA. Um, the other thing that I thought was kind of a weakness of the book was the size of the heist team. I don't think there is necessarily one magic number to for like a team going into a heist. I just think every single person on that team needs to be clearly defined. Their role needs to be very clear why they're there. Um, or at the very least, they all need to be fleshed out enough for me to feel like I care about all these people. This group got very big very fast and I also didn't feel like everyone was necessary and I also kind of didn't get to know some of the people very well. I felt like there was some overlap between some of the people. Um, and it was just very confusing to um, have to remember which member of the heist team we're talking about, especially when they hadn't been very fully fleshed out throughout. Um, so I wish the author had taken a little bit more time to either flesh out the characters, so make the book a little longer, but talk about like who these people are and why they are uniquely important to the heist. 
um, versus just adding a bunch of interesting characters because the, the, all the characters on the heist were interesting. I will add that. All the characters on, in the heist like team, very, very interesting. I just don't know if they were all necessary or if they were all necessary, um, they weren't fleshed out enough for me to feel like I really cared about all of them. Um, and I think that when you're writing a heist novel, all the people on the team who are kind of doing the heisting um, should kind of be important and it should be very clear why they're there in the book. Um, yeah, that was that was definitely what I, I considered um, the other main weakness was just not not knowing um, which kind of flows into my next one. So like the heist team character not knowing like who everyone was or really what their point was being there. Another thing is more my last critique would be um, when reading a book. Normally, so so normally when I, when, I'm gonna say I, but when people read a book, I feel like you can tell when a, when a character is introduced for the first time, you can kind of tell this is a character who's going to play a very small role in the story. They're there to like do some maneuvering of the plot and then get the story moved along. For example, it'll be like, Farmer Jones has entered into the barn with the creek, but all the animals will mysteriously, and you've never met Farmer Jones before, all the animals are all mysteriously disturbed and something feels off. Hello, calls Farmer Jones. In my brain, I've already filed Farmer Jones on going to be killed in the next three minutes list, but I've also know that I don't have to like reserve a huge chunk of mental space in the book to Farmer Jones because he's probably not going to be um, around a whole lot. Uh, and I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but you can kind of tell which characters, okay, this is going to be someone who is kind of a main character, going to be following along quite a bit, or this is going to be a character who I can kind of, um, I don't have to reserve as much mental space for them. So they still play a role in the story, but it's, they're not like a big character. In this book, I felt like I had, oops, that's the back. In this book, I felt like I had no idea when we introduced a character, if it was going to be someone who was important, if this was going to play like a very small role, if, if this person meant anything, do I, how much mental space do I need to reserve for each character that comes up? I couldn't really tell if this was going to be like a main core plot member or if this was someone um, who I needed to like pay attention to for the long term. I needed to reserve this name and all this information very strongly because they're going to be coming up again and again. And I felt like, and this is something that as someone who doesn't write, I don't really know how to do that. Um, and I think this may be the author's first book. So the author, um, Patrick Weeks, um, yeah, I believe this is his first novel. He does do writing for video games according to his little author bio. So he did some writing for like Mass Effect um, and Dragon Age. So he, he does have experience with it, but I think maybe going from that kind of writing style to this. So he has experience writing, but I think a different kind of writing. Um, I think maybe... And this is the kind of thing that I hate giving critiques on because I don't I don't have any advice. I, I don't write. I don't know how, how authors do it so that I know that Farmer Jones is just a temporary character. But this book, I felt like I had no clue who was going to be a main character. And that also kind of played into the size of the heist team where I felt like some of them were not as important as others or I don't really I didn't really know why they were there. So then I was kind of confused. But yeah, um, overall, um, I should say, first of all, congratulations to Patrick Weeks. You have written a lot of characters for my favorite video games and I really respect your work. Um, I really, um, really, uh, think it's an accomplishment to get on a thing, a book, that's the word I'm looking for, a book written. Um, I gave this a three-star review, probably a low three-star review, but I think some of the things are just, like, not as experienced, like, book writer, how am I saying, like, an author who's not as experienced writing books, and like, how, how do you get experience writing books? You write books. So you're going to have to write books that I don't want to say aren't as good because like it's still a three star read for me. Um, there's just, it's a learning curve, I think. So what I'm saying is, well, this book got a three star view. I think the author has definitely enough talent to be like a four, four and a half star. Um, and I mean, I don't, I mean, every author has the ability, I guess. I just, I'll read more by this guy. I would definitely pick up another novel by this. I think that the... The talent there, the creativity is there, the humor is there, the world building could be there, the character is there. Um, I didn't see a lot of world building, that's why I said could be there. Um, so yeah, I would definitely pick up something else by this person and I would, I think that if I'd gone in knowing this was YA, I would have also had a slightly better um, 
feeling towards the book by the end of it. I think I just caught on to that a little late, which kind of colored some of my perceptions on this book. So if anyone else has read this book, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you've read anything else by Patrick Weeks. Um, and again, let me know if I'm really off base with the whole YA thing or if I was kind of on track with it. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for everyone to everyone for watching this review. Thank you, Patrick Weeks, for writing this very entertaining book. And enjoy the beautiful weekend weather today, guys. Have a great day.